uh, these simple uh, basic uh, simplifications using kmap for three variable functions. So here is our first example. Let's have we have a Carnot map of these ones only. So if you look at these, the function would be a prime a not b not c not or a not b not c so here is a c not and c and these are the common terms oh, I'm sorry this is gonna be e, b not so these are common terms so you can write this function as just a not b not because we know that c not or c is just gonna be one so from the Carnot map you can also see that the same thing by just circling these because that because when they're adjacent each other see the a and b are not changing in this column but c is changing that is the change coming from here these terms so that's why the c is gonna drop from here and we're gonna say this is a not b not so we don't have to write the function at all we can just say a not b not let's look at the second one how about we have ones here? Then the function would be a b c not a b not c not. This time the one that is changing is b, and the other two inputs are not changing, so this is gonna drop. So the function is gonna be a c not and you can also see it from here we will just circle this and since a is not changing we will put the a here b is changing b is gonna drop from there and c is not changing so it's gonna be c not because it's in the zero row here's an interesting one they are not really adjacent to each other but if you think about that they again share two literals that are not changing so a is gonna drop from here and the way how you circle this is this way as if they are adjacent to each other because they're at the end of the table so a is changing a is gonna drop b is not changing and it's zero so it's gonna be b not and c not here's another one that's very similar to what what we had I'm not gonna write the function this time so but now we can say that these are adjacent to each other so I can circle that and write the function a is changing so it's gonna drop b, b is not changing so I'm gonna say b and c is not changing which is 1 so the function is gonna be bc how about we have four ones on the table yes we can circle these and that would give us two functions like a and b are not changing so it's gonna be a not b not or a b not but as you see this can be simplified because we have a not and a so this is gonna be actually simply b not can we see this from the table yes so when you circle uh, numbers you don't have to circle only two but you can make uh, squares so you can get these two and these two all together 
as one so the the larger you circle the better you, you will simplify so when we get these four together a is changing b is not changing and c is changing so this will give you only b naught this would be another example of circling more instead of getting just these two you can get the whole together so a and b are all changing but c is not changing so the function is going to be c naught one last so if you have a function like this that means you cannot circle all of them all together so these are these ones so you need to circle all the ones you have to cover circle ones at least once so you can take this one as one circle and that would be your a is not changing so it's going to be a not and c not and then if you take this one alone it's going to be a three literal term but instead you can take this one with this one doesn't matter if you circle twice that's fine but it's going to give you a simpler result and it's going to be a is changing it's going to be b not c not